Hello everyone, it's Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. My videos have been a little sporadic lately, but we're just gonna keep moving. I have a Goodwill thrifting video to share with you today. Some local Goodwills in my area, but the other day we were coming home from out of town and we spotted a Goodwill, so we hiked a U-turn, and I'm so glad we did because I found a handful of really good antique things that I love. So I can't wait to share those with y'all as well as how I styled them. So let's get thrifting and then I'll see you back here for the haul. All right, so the first half of the thrifting is just my local Goodwills in my area, but then we were coming home from out of town the other day and past a Goodwill. So we hiked a U-turn and I am so glad we did because as you will see, um, those clips will be at the end. I found a handful of items that I'm just so glad we stopped. I can't believe that I just casually found these things sitting there because I feel like I would never find them around here because you know the reselling is so high. Um, but anyways, we're just going to get into some thrifting here. Now, when I was filming these clips of these crystal or glass pieces, I hadn't yet decided that I wanted one to display or just to put some flowers in. So I definitely regret not picking up one of those cute crystal pieces because now I can't find any. Is there anyone who collects these Blue Bow Goose style dishes? I thought these were super pretty with the pops of peachy pink on there. I actually did end up purchasing this. I don't share it in the haul because I resold it on my eBay. Um, now, if it were to have been the green one, I would have kept for myself because I do love those for spring decor. I feel like there has to be some of y'all that are gonna love these. I'm not even a chicken, a rooster girl, and even I thought they were pretty cool. I loved being able to look at this piece. Um, it didn't seem super old, like antique or anything, but it still was old. I couldn't decide if it was handmade or not. I don't know, it was a little rickety, needed some love, but I loved the dark stain on it and then the scalloped top. So when it comes to pricing in my area, mind you i live in a major city or outside of a major city there is nothing below 199 anymore unless it is something like that tiny little doily or linen piece um those are the only things that i will see for 59 cents 99 cents but other than that i never see anything even a small little figurine for less than 199 so
So I did carry this basket around with me and then I ended up putting it back right before I left just because I couldn't decide if I truly loved the basket or if I just liked that they had this ribbon hanging off of it. Okay, so in just a second, you're gonna see a frame that I purchased. It's in my cart here. The frame ended up being too big for what I needed it for. So I was like, oh, I'll just put cabinet cards in it if it doesn't work. And then I found this one at the next Goodwill I went to. Isn't that so weird? Like I've never seen this before. And then the day that I said I was gonna do that, I ended up finding one just like it. So strange. Okay, now we are at the out of town Goodwill. They had a lot of really good things to share. I feel like if you've been watching me long enough, you'll be able to guess the few items that I did bring home. Actually, one of the best ones. I didn't even get on camera because I almost left without even seeing it. These were by Nippon, I think that's how you say it. And I went back and forth about buying them, but I ended up putting them back just because I didn't feel like they went super well with my curved cabinet. You know, I do mostly white. They had a ton of these little souvenir spoon holders and um, I already have sort of a mini one so I don't really feel like I need another one but I was trying to think of ways that I could display other things. I know other people like to put handkerchiefs or just little doily pieces hanging from them. Um, I'm not sure if that's 100% my style so I didn't end up bringing any home but if you have any ideas let me know. I'm usually really picky about the faux florals that I purchase or use in my decor and I don't know I kind of like this one I think it was the blackberries I thought that they looked really realistic but I didn't really want to pay the nine dollars
they had this little section of fabric and trim and tassels and my goodwills do not carry that kind of stuff i don't know if they sent it to the bins or what but i never find this type of stuff there so i was having fun looking through this All right, y'all, I'm gonna start with the things that I found at my local Goodwills. I only grabbed two things. Also, the sun is going very in and out today, so I hope the lighting is gonna be okay. It literally looks like someone's taking one of those turn knobs for the light and just going like this, so um, hopefully we can work through it. But here's the first thing that I picked up. Now, they did have two of these, this size, and then there was a size that was a little bigger than this. And I don't know, I just liked it. It's just a little decorative, like, storage suitcase. It's not old. It has this like aluminum covering on it um, and I do like that. But what sold me on it was how beautiful the inside is. Look at this gorgeous like satiny emerald green fabric. So I haven't managed to do it yet, um, but I'm thinking on top of my armoire, my bedroom or our, our bedroom with boots, hats, gloves, just things hanging out of it with it styled open like that. Um, that's my vision for it. This was $4.99 and then this item I'm not even too sure I should have purchased it. It was $2.99. It's one of those really pretty like glass Miniature display cases. I never see these at thrift stores So I think I was just really excited to find one But I don't have a spot for it or really even a collection to display inside of it because I have so many large curio cabinets that I put stuff in it just wouldn't make sense to stick one of these in there um, so yeah, I haven't really come up with a plan for this yet. Worst comes to worst, I'll just donate it back, but it is super cute. Has a little mirror in the back. All right, moving on to what I got from the out of town Goodwill. I did get two baskets. I don't know if y'all remember, but recently I mentioned that I wanted to try something here in this little cutout in my kitchen. I'll insert a clip because I did hang these from it just so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. I do need to spray paint the rod gold and then of course collect more baskets. I just want very specific looking baskets. And then I thought it would be pretty to even hang like some dried flowers up there. Um, but anyways, I grabbed these baskets because my Goodwills do not have the baskets I like. So I loved this one with the round shape and I love the color. It was $2.99, which isn't a bad price. And then there's this one with the handles on the side, which I, I would hang long ways. And this one was $1.99. All right, these next three items, technically four, but the next three items are the best things that I found out at a Goodwill in so long. The first one being this gorgeous Homer Laughlin little pitcher. Isn't that so cute? I think it's too big to be a creamer. Here's my hand. Um, but I even, I normally don't like gold on my dishes like this, but I think this one's so cute. The bottom does say Homer Laughlin. And I paid, what was this, $2.99? So you'll see this styled in the curved cabinet here in just a few minutes, as well as these gorgeous transfer wear plates. I mean, did y'all really think I wasn't gonna come home with these? There was two of them, so that's even better. It's this like gorgeous grayish dark teal color. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's gonna look fine with my blue and white decor for summer. The back says Ruby SH and Sons. And I think they were $2.99 a piece, and I honestly would have paid even a little higher than that because I never find good antique transfer wear like this out thrifting. All right, and then the last item I found is a mirror. I almost missed it. It's not even in the thrifting footage that y'all watched. So like I said, we were traveling home this day and we were about to get back on the road and um, I ran to the restroom while Garrett was in line and then I saw it out of the corner of my eye like sitting flat on a bottom shelf. And I ran back to the front, said, Garrett, we need to add this as well. It was $9.99. Um, which is a good price for these types of mirrors. I have one other and it's just maybe like an inch or two smaller So I think they're gonna look really pretty like layered or stacked on the um, mantle. Hopefully I haven't tried that yet But it's so beautiful I think they're called pie crust mirrors the way the edges look and then it has that really beautiful um, Etching and I'm just in love with it. I love all the patina on it as well. So 
I can't believe I almost missed it. I'm so glad I went back and saw it. So that is what I picked up thrifting today. I'm gonna close out this video showing y'all how I use these pieces and also just have decorated my curved curio cabinet with all my blue and white and ironstone. So I hope y'all enjoyed watching. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.